Magic 107.5975 Atlanta's best mix of R&B. In the studio with me, Crystal Nicole. Oh my gosh. Atlanta's own, I might say. Atlanta's own. Atlanta's own. But girl, <laughs> let me do your introduction. Okay. Grammy Award winner, right? Mm. And ASCAP Award winner. Mm -hmm. Doing your thing, girl. She wrote Only Girl for Rihanna. Love All Over Me for Monica, 25-8 for Mary J. She's also written for Beyonce, for Brandy, Mariah Carey, Natasha Bedingfield, Jennifer Hudson. Whew, how much time we got, girl? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Crystal? I am, I am so good right now. I haven't been better. I'm so Wonderful. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. All right, so tell me a little bit about in writing for, um, or writing Only Girl. Was that specifically for Rihanna? That was specifically for Rihanna. They okay. did a, um, what they call a songwriters camp in L.A. And they had um, about 10 or 15 songwriters and producers there just all collectively working on her album. Uh, that was a loud album. Wow. And I was in with Stargate the first day of the camp. The camp was like two weeks long. Mm -hmm. And the first day I wrote Only Girl in the World. And <gasps> that day I was I was a little frustrated because I tried to write two songs prior to that. And I, I just wasn't inspired nothing was hitting me and I was like okay this is the last one Lord like let this be something and I wrote it and I was like ah, it's all right and I got in the booth recorded it and everybody went crazy after she recorded it and I heard it on the radio that's when I was like oh wow I did that it does work <laughs> <laughs> it does work <laughs> what about love all over me for Monica love specifically all over me. it's one of my favorite songs I've ever written um uh I got in the studio with Jermaine Dupree and Brian Michael Cox yeah. and Jermaine was like look Monica needs the number one R&B record and that's why we're here today and wow. so they started playing these chords and instantly it just hit me like like a truck. 25-8, Mary J. Blige, how'd that come about? You Ooh. wrote that and then you gave it to her, how'd that happen? Well, I was in the studio with her and it was so much pressure because I'm such a fan and she was looking at me and it was like, what you got? And so um, they played the music, Eric Hudson produced it, it was an amazing track. And I had this concept before I got there, you know, just of uh, not having enough time in the day, you know, and there's so many hours in a day, 24-7, I was like 25-8, so I was like, okay, I gotta make this work because this is Mary, I'm gonna use this big concept you know, to make it work, and I went in the booth and wrote it, and um, I didn't know if she liked it or not. She had a, a, a face like, you know, you know, it was kind of like a neutral face. Yeah. And when I came out, she was like, oh my God, this is it. This is amazing. And she put her vocals on it, and I I, I was just playing that song yesterday. So I, just <laughs> like that, you did it. Just So you work better under pressure? You know, it's, <laughs> I, I hate the pressure, but I yeah. think I do. Well, you know what? I'm just going to ask you and see if maybe we can have you back from time to time and discuss music, and uh, you'll be our in-house um Music, not I won't say music judge because you know my boss might be falling out of his chair if I said that. <laughs> but you know, from time to time when we do things, just, I kind of need some insight. I'm going to call you as an do. expert. Please do. I'm, I'm like? down the street. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's right here in in Atlanta, in Decatur. Or no, we're uh -huh. in Atlanta. No, we're I'm, in, I'm in from Atlanta. Decatur though. Okay, where's Greater? Okay, <laughs> yeah, Decatur, where's Greater? <laughs>